So there was a time I used to make like 500k a month or I make like 100,000 or 200,000 and I felt rich because all the people I had at that point were poor and but here's the underlying factor if you were born in in a third world country you think third world and I've written this somewhere before but I'm still going to have to say it because what you think as huge amount of money where you're from is, is what a huge amount of money is not in some people's book, right? Yeah, you see this happen so many times in the, the posts of celebrities and stuff where someone says, you know, I bought this um, ugly looking clothes or I went to this dinner and I spent like 500,000 and people were like, it's impossible, it's not possible because... 500k something is, is difficult to come by there, but in the hierarchies of things, 500k might just be for um, maybe like 30 seconds shout out or something, right? So it's like different because when you're in the lower class, your 500k comes from maybe you doing work and it has to be like highly paid job. And when you're here, it comes from like 30 seconds of shout outs. And what you call money is different to you that's why i tell people go out from your comfort zone go out to places where you're put in difficult situations to really go out and get it so when i was making that amount of money 500k 100k and stuff you know it was like a huge amount my friend then i used to have was like bro if i was as rich as you are i've never worked for a day it was 500 000. it's not a lot of money but I was 19 or 20 and I wasn't, you know, I was just a kid. But then again, it broadens your horizon, it makes you think. And at the end of the day, 500,000 for a lot of business people don't know, it's not all profits, right? I had to buy data, for this, I know my money, this are businesses money. And I spent most of them on, on that. And then I didn't pay myself. And of course, paying yourself is super essential. I think the older I get, the more I start to understand these parts, right? And something I always tell you guys is, number one, always sell something. You know, always sell something because you are a salesman. If you want to get wealthy, look at every rich people. They're either selling their stuff or their parents. Like, oh, my parents own that. My parents own that. They own stuff. And they're always selling stuff, right? Lead generation, one of the best businesses to do. Uh, affiliate marketing as well big celebrities do and make a lot of money and don't look down on affiliate marketing because literally when you see someone shout out it's just affiliating a product so that's what it is but at the end of the day you need to increase what you see as a huge amount of money right one time my goal was making ten thousand dollars a month and now it's making like hundred fifty thousand dollars a year and after next year once i've done that um, it's going to be a million dollars a year and it's different because what I think about money has changed. My views on money has literally changed. It's, it's, it's become something else. And that's what growth does to you, right? From wanting to make only $10,000 a month, it's now like, you know, to make $1,000 a month, not $10,000 a month, and it's soon to be $100,000 a month, but it's just gradual process of growing. So, yeah, peace.